your host for Motor Week, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week. We're glad to have you with us. BMW's remake of the classic Mini Cooper has been an unqualified global success. So much so that fans want even more of the best little British box on wheels. So once again, designers have gone back to the Mini archives to feed this craving for a maximum Mini effort. The result is what some are calling a five-door hardtop and others a pint-sized station wagon. But Mini calls it simply the Clubman. The new 2008 Mini Clubman will surely be seen by some buyers as a novel new twist on the popular BMW-owned compact brand. But the roots of today's Mini Clubman go back to the roots of the Mini itself, and utilitarian Minis like the Mini Traveler of the 1960s and the original Mini Clubman of the 1970s. So it made perfect sense to longtime Mini aficionados when Mini first presented the Traveler concept on the 2005-2006 auto show circuit. Now finally in production, this latest Mini Clubman takes its ancestors' practical characteristics and adds some 21st century flash and dash. While based on the same platform as the Mini Cooper, the Clubman has been stretched 9.5 inches to an overall length of 155.1 inches. It rides on a 100.3 inch wheelbase, an extra 3.2 inches over the standard Mini. That extra length makes for a larger cabin that is accessed through a series of five doors on the sides and rear. Behind the front passenger side door is a short rear access door or club door. While the single-piece rear hatch has been discarded in favor of a two-piece split barn door configuration with clever cutouts for the taillights. What that means to rear seat passengers is easier access to an extra 3.2 inches of legroom. It's a big improvement for average folks, though still tight for the truly tall. Cargo space is also increased. Seats up, it's 9.1 cubic feet. Seats down, a healthy 32.6 cubic feet. That's almost a third more space for your stuff. Of course, if the Clubman can't move its increased cargo and passengers, then cool could quickly turn to fool. And we wondered before our first drive whether the many standard engines were up to shifting the Clubman's extra weight. As with the standard Mini Cooper, the Clubman is available in Clubman and Clubman S trims. What this means under the hood is a 1.6 liter normally aspirated four cylinder that makes 118 horsepower and 114 pound feet of torque for the Clubman, while the Clubman S gets the turbocharged 1.6 with 172 horsepower and 177 pound feet of torque. As with the Mini Cooper, the Clubman also gets a choice of six speed manual or six speed automatic transmissions. We spun the front wheels of a Clubman S on a short hop outside the Spanish capital of Madrid and quickly learned that this maximized Mini may be the big brother of the family, but it's just as sprightly and nimble as its smaller siblings. Snap the front end into a corner and you experience that same roller skate feel and neutral balance. The electric power assist steering is quick and precise, and the front strut rear multi-link suspension is tight with minimal roll even when pushed hard. The S model's free-spinning turbo engine easily pulls a fully loaded car through tight traffic or mountain passes, especially when attached to the manual transmission. It's when you drop down to the combination of base engine and automatic transmission that you start to wish for more punch. The Clubman's extra 143 pounds holds you back from those quick getaways and on highway entrance ramps. Brakes are also carryover with disc all around plus ABS, traction and stability control. They easily handled either urban stop and go or enthusiastic driving on rural roads. And after driving it, we're pretty enthusiastic about the Mini Clubman too as will be many American Mini fans when the Clubman debuts in U.S. showrooms in February. So while Clubman prices have not yet been announced, expect the base Clubman to go for about $21,000, with the Clubman S near $24,000. Once again, history repeats itself as the 2008 Clubman revives and improves upon the 1960s concept of a maxed out Mini. It's a Mini that's just maximum enough to let you bring all your stuff.